Our first men's finalist is decided. His name is Coniella Stewart, and he will be taking on the winner of semifinal number two out in the water in the red jersey, Hawaii Zone, John Michael Van Hohenstein. And coming in on the blue jersey, Republic of South Africa Zone, former world champion number 12 in the rankings coming in, Stephen Sawyer. Doesn't seem like he's got out of fourth gear into fifth. Yesterday there was moments for sure, and I'm really looking forward to that final. I think he's going to lay down some serious carves. But out in this heat, we have the silky smooth Stephen Sawyer, and paddling for this wave, Johnny the Ripper. And it seems like John up and riding now. Gets to the five right there on the outside. Sophia Colhane was mentioning she wants it to be an all Waikiki final for both the men and the women. John is just going to town on this one so far. Had a couple of great scores yesterday. Knocked out world number one Taylor Jensen with this kind of rail surfing. That wave will fizzle out on the inside. 35 minute semifinals. First time John's made this round so far in the 2023 season. Talk to me about the experience that we see from Steven Sawyer in comparison to Johnny the Ripper. Coniella Stewart, who has been a great surfer all season long and who just seems to be improving more and more throughout each round. This guy has something to prove, though. Perched up on the nose right there on the outside. That was a great nose ride. Wraps it back all the way. He has an incredible roundhouse cutback. One of the best we have seen all event long from John Michael Van Hohenstein. Traveling here with his family, part of that Waikiki crew as well, making it through to the inside. As Sawyer up and riding on the outside now, Johnny's still going through this one though. Some great footwork. Really needs to make it to the nose once again as he kicks out that wave, just really not having a lot of scoring potential all the way through to the shoreline. And now it just seems like he's extremely relaxed. Yeah, very relaxed. You can see just his tempo here. Nice 5 and 10. Shuffling back to the tail. Judge would make note. But he makes up for it here with a nice drop knee wrap. And you see he's generating speed from the tail. It is extremely hard to do on that surfboard that he's doing it. But the judges want to see that footwork in between the maneuvers. That wave petering out. So it'll probably be a nice backup to his 5.5. Might go close. We'll see. Strong. This was Stevie's. The replay of Stevie's behind Johnny. So uh, making his intentions clear right now taking off really deep looking for critical nose rides but of course to get back into the pocket you have to have a silky smooth cutback and that he possesses a few nerves perhaps knowing this is a must win heat falling off steven might have a chance right here recognizes it he's on the move needs to be on this one and here we go with the chance that he was looking for all the way on the outside strong start right there for sawyer and a beautiful down carve to reposition himself on this wave. As we have seen before, though, in this heat, a lot of these waves just fading out through this midsection. It is a must-win scenario right here for Steven Sawyer. If he wants to keep his, hope, keep his hopes alive, heading into Malibu, he wants to qualify and secure himself a chance to compete for his second world championship. That was beautiful right there. Transition well. In the background, you can hear the horn. This heat is done and dusted. It might come down to this wave, whether or not being the necessary score for Steven Sawyer. Surfing it as well as he can. Stalls right there. Waiting for one more section to pop up. One more touch of the nose. Let's see if this wave offers up another section here. That's going to be it for the South African Sawyer. So, two waves have given the edge to Johnny the Ripper heading into the last few minutes. We were waiting on some scores and our system still down. But Matt, he made it very interesting. Had the one wave on the outside that we saw had the really strong nose ride at the beginning. Then you include this one. It might be a tight finish. It'll be a tight finish for sure. Body language says no. His surfing was very relaxed on that wave though.